All right, welcome to today's cooking episode inspired by my friend Brahim, who didn't believe I could cook until one day I made him a grilled cheese. This is a classic thing we eat in America. I believe it's even got its French origin, but today we're gonna to be using some sandwich cheese with a hamburger on it, rich in vitamins, healthy cheese, some zibda, butter, hoops, Moroccan or agro, and this is if we're gonna get fancy. We're gonna do the recipe fancy today, but you don't need all that. So skip that if you don't need it. Let's begin. Take your bread, cut it in two. Next, we're gonna have some of our butter and we'll put it into a heated pan. Voila. More butter, more flavor. You're gonna get that around there. Careful of your non-stick pan. It might be too much butter, but we're gonna keep going with it anyways. We're gonna take our bread, scratch that. We're gonna take our garlic. I forgot. If you were skipping the fancy steps, skip the garlic. If you like garlic, put the garlic in there. I'm abandoning ship on that butter. That was way too much butter, so I'm gonna take some of that out now. Way too much butter. But taste, we'll see. And then we're gonna take our bread and a little bit of oregano. Get that in there like we're making our focaccia. And I like to do actually this part of the bread down because it absorbs more of the butter than if we use the outside. In America, we don't have bread like this. It comes in a long roll. And then you have white side on both sides of the bread. So in Morocco, I adapted it to put the outside of the bread on the inside. I push it down to soak up the butter, to flatten it out. That way the whole thing heats up real nice. And once the bread is nice and warm, we're gonna get that cheese on top of there. Spread it up and put the other half of the bread on top. Keep it in there so the heat goes. And we could even add some of that extra butter from earlier on the top to melt down on the other side. Right now I'm also going to put that garlic on top as well as a little bit more oregano. So Andrea is saying she would do it the other way here. Uh, let me know how your own experiments at home with grilled cheese go. It's a quick, easy meal. It's not the most environmentally friendly with our plastic cheese or great on the body, but it is tasty and a little bit of comfort food from home at times. So tonight we're having a little bit of grilled cheese. So I decided it wasn't looking cheesy enough in there. I'm gonna sneak another slice in before it all sticks and becomes too late. I'll give it a press down to ensure that the bread will be sticking to each other. Once the bottom is toasted, we go for a flip. And we're looking for this golden brown on the bread, right? Don't do too much, don't do too little. Let it find that nice crisp on there. So that's about temperature and patience and the right amount of butter. Andrea mentioned you could cover it and cook it quicker that way, but I worry it might get a bit soggy. Also, I had inspiration for those Moroccans. You know what this is. This is the Jebli. It's some sort of soft cheese that's super tasty and might be good in a grilled cheese. I just thought to add this now, but our cheese is too sticky. It's too late to add it. Next time. Got really hot, really quick. So emergency, flip it, take it out. Ooh. Perfectly done there. Mm. You don't want it any more than that. We get the last bits of toasted oregano and garlic onto this grilled cheese. So oregano is actually pretty popular. In Morocco, they use it in their teas. I had no idea. Chad told me that. And I found a container of it and it had pizza on it and tea. So I go, okay, this must be the oregano. I couldn't read it. But here is the grilled cheese. Again, if you want to be fancy, you can put some tomato on top. 
I'm not feeling that juicy today, so I'm going to eat it just like this is. A little bit of upgrade to your grilled cheese if you're American watching this. Or just your introduction to grilled cheese as a Moroccan. This is how it's done. Can let's you... cut into it, eh? Yeah, cut it in the middle. Yeah, let's see what that cheese looks like. We cut in the middle. Wow. No, this garlic's not burnt. It's got a little toast on the outside. Let's see. We got the... the... Oh, yeah. The cheese just melts and pulls apart perfectly. Look at that. There you go. Moroccan grilled cheese. Mm. <laughs> wow. It smells like a Chuck E. Cheese. Thumbs up. Morocco, try it. Tell me if you like it. Mm. So good. Super buttery, super cheesy, super garlicky. <laughs> With oregano. It's amazing. Slovenian approved. And uh, we have another fun episode coming up. We're going to be making some buffalo chicken soon. So we're bringing buffalo chicken to Morocco. If you've never tried that, I'm about to show you how to do it with some Moroccan ingredients. And it's going to be awesome, I promise you. So thank you and see you next time.